How's it going everyone? It's Sam. I want to talk to you about two different mining stocks. Now, these are two interesting stocks. They're both very small and very risky. Uh, one is one is significantly larger than the other, but both of them are moving up a lot over the last few days. Both of them, I think, have some potential, at least short term. So I actually bought both of these as swing trades to try to get a quick profit. Now, I will sell out. I'll just be I'll be honest with you, I'll sell out if they move up significantly over the following days. But I want to bring them to your attention. Some people are saying that these have, you know, four to five X potential. Some are saying even more on the more speculative stock. So they have low floats, they have high institutional ownership, they have a large pipeline of revenue. So I've been getting a lot of questions on them. So if you guys like this, please leave a thumbs up. I really appreciate it. Please hit subscribe down there. If you guys want more videos like this, let me know in the comments. With these, I wasn't sure, especially with the one that's really speculative because it's it's a very small company. So I, I wasn't sure if you want me to, or if I should do a video like this, but if you guys like this and want me to cover these in the future, definitely tell me in the comments below. If you guys want, there's a link down there to Webull. You can get two free stocks if you deposit $100. So definitely check that out. There's also a link down there to BlockFi. If you want to start investing in cryptocurrency and get an interest rate, that's the company I use. I'm getting more and more bullish on cryptocurrency by the day. And there's a link down there to Patreon. If you want to know exactly when I buy and sell these stocks, I think we're up about 2 to 3% in both of these already. So if you guys want to check out that link, you can check it out down below. So the first company that we're looking at is American Resources Corp, ticker AREC. Now this one has been moving up a lot recently. They are an interesting company because they have multiple segments to their business. So first of all, we all know, or at least we've talked about before, that America really needs rare earth materials moving forward because they are required for a lot of our technology. We have a large reliance on China as they control about 85% of the of the whole chain of uh, rare earth materials so that's where these companies come in american resources corp is around 150 million so a very small company however i've been i've been told about them since they're about 60 million i think in market cap and they have several different parts of their business so they have american carbon american metals american rare earth these companies have different revenue producing timelines so American Metals is already producing uh, is already producing revenue and they use metal and steel products, copper products, carbide products. We have American Carbon, which is already producing revenue. And then we have American Rare Earth, which is supposed to produce revenue in 2021. Now, this is interesting because we have several different locations that should produce revenue. So they have different appraised values you can see here overall the total the total portfolio and this is uh, i believe a little bit outdated this investor presentation but the total appraised value is 374 million dollars now this has a high percentage of insider ownership you can see here it's got 41 percent insider ownership there's a really good article on seeking alpha about this american resources about to break out and this is this is from a couple weeks ago but it kind of goes through the the whole company a lot more in depth. They talk about their three businesses, and this is their coal business, their rare earth materials business, and then also their iron scrap. And actually, they they go through multiple parts of the business too. They really have a holistic approach. And one thing that they did recently was they did raise some money. They were able to get about 14 million. They were strapped with debt before this. They had long-term debt of 12 and a half million, convertible debt of about 17, and then a 4.7 million dollar note. So this does get rid of just a, just short of half of their debt, which makes me feel a little bit better on the company. We should hopefully see, they say about 20 million per quarter by the end of 2021. Now, again, this is a speculative stock, right? This is a speculative play. I'm cautious about this. Now, the other company that we're looking at is Global Battery Metals. This is under the ticker, ticker REZZF. Now, this is just the American ticker. If we look, they have a couple different tickers for different areas, uh, different countries. They just started trading on Trading212 as of a few days ago. Just take a look at their website right here. 
this is actually a really nice website, which is surprising. Usually you don't get that from these smaller market cap companies. Uh, this one is a mining company, so they are pre-revenue. You can see the different tickers here if you're interested. They have a large opportunity though. They are in Ireland, so actually uh, go go comment on one of Jack Spencer's videos and tell him that he should cover this stock because I'm interested to see what he had, what he has to say about it. But it's got a very low float. Take a look at the retail. It's only 40% of the total ownership. Institution and long-term holders are about 42, and management are about 18. The shares outstanding uh, lead us to a market cap that's right around 20 million now. This was this was literally updated two days ago. Now they have only about 1.1 million in cash, but they have no debt either, which I I like to see that. I mean, they could raise a little bit of capital because they have been moving up so much, but they don't have any debt, which means it's a little bit less risky than it would be otherwise. They have a manager or CEO that's already done this before. He, he worked on a, on a gold mining company before this. And the thing is they have this project that, that supposedly has a lot of lithium in it. And again, we need lithium for rare earth materials. They have a block of land, 477 kilometers uh, square kilometers. The project is adjacent to a Chinese company. This other company, the Chinese company, produces and sells lithium metals, lithium fluoride, along with some other products, and is currently one of the largest lithium companies in the world. They had positive results already from their testing. Now, what they have to do next is, and you can see here some of the areas that they have. Now, what they need to do next is drill three holes totaling 450 meters, and they're expecting approvals within six to eight weeks from the Irish government. They also show some of the comparables compared to other uh, mining companies. Now, this one has been moving up a lot. There's a lot more to cover. Uh, I'll, I'll be honest, there's more in the investor presentation, but I just wanna go real high level with this. If you guys want, my brother-in-law did do a video specifically on this company, and I'll put it in the description below if you guys wanna see that definitely subscribe to his channel but we're up a decent amount in this one a lot of people are saying with the low float with what they're doing this could go up dramatically there are a lot of catalysts for both of these companies coming up but again i am playing the safe if it if it goes down dramatically probably 20 to 30 percent from my cost basis i'll sell out most likely unless unless there's a reason for it that i think you know there's a reason to hold on and then also I'll sell out if it goes too high. I'll hold and then you know set a stop loss so I can get out if it starts falling dramatically. Both of these highly speculative. This one is very small. The other one is still very small, <laughs> just about 10 times uh, as big. But be careful with these ones. I have less than 1% of my portfolio in these. So I'm not risking a large amount, but I see opportunities in both of these as they have been getting more and more recognition. So I wanted to jump in on them. REZZF will be more of a short-term play. Eric could be more of a long-term play. REZZF just has extra risk, so I would most likely sell it quicker than Eric. They both have potential, so I did want to cover it for you. I did mention it to my Patreon that I bought them earlier today. So if you guys want that information a little bit quicker, you can check out the link down below to Patreon. Thank you guys so much. I really appreciate it. Again, let me know if you want me to cover like spec stocks like this in the future. I have had a lot of people asking me to cover these. So let me know in the comments below. Thank you guys so much. Thank you for checking out Patreon and checking out uh, the link down below to BlockFi and Patreon and Webull. You know, there are a lot of links down there. So thank you. And I will see you in the next video. If you want to see the video that I did yesterday on the space stock that I just bought, you can definitely check it out here. And again, my brother-in-law's link is down in the description. Thanks. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.